Hello to all dear students. Today we will be going to discuss the classification of the class Reptilia. Alright. And you must know that this class Reptilia has been divided into two major subclasses. Though you may find some more subclasses but they are not of any use because all the other subclass members have become extinct. So we will be dealing only with those subclasses of the class Reptilia in which there are living members available. Alright. So the class Reptilia has been divided into two subclasses. One is known as the Anapsida, another is known as the Diapsida. One is known as the Anapsida, another is known as the Diapsida. Now the question arises why these name is given. Anapsida. A means absent. A means absent means in them temporal fossa is absent temporal fossa what is temporal fossa it is a sort of a depression it is a sort of a depression it is a sort of a notch all right so temporal fossa is absent in the temporal region of the skull i would say that temporal fossa is absent therefore the skull is complete the roof of the skull is complete why it is not having the depression or the temporal fossa so i would say roof of skull is complete and the another subclass known as a diapsida diapsida means two means there is one pair of superior temporal fossa and one pair of inferior temporal fossa found in the temporal region of the skull because there are uh, there are two pairs one pair of the superior temporal fossa and one pair of the inferior temporal fossa found in the temporal region of the skull and that's why the subclass name is given that diapsida and here the temporal fossa is absent therefore the name is given anapsida now if i talk about the further classification then this anapsida this anapsida subclass is actually classified into one order and that order is called as the order colonia and if i talk about the subclass diapsida then subclass diapsida is divided into three major orders one is known as the rhynchocephalia another is known as the squamata and the third one is the order crocodilia so here there are three orders of this subclass diapsida order rhynchocephalia order squamata which is the largest order remember this thing squamata is the largest order fine and the third one is the crocodilia that we will be discussing in the later half all right so here diapsida has three orders and the anapsida is having one order and that order is called as the colonia now the members of the colonia the members of the order colonia may be terrestrial they may be terrestrial or marine or freshwater animals they may be terrestrial means they may be found on land or they may be marine or freshwater creatures the special feature of the order colonia is that that the body is covered with a hard shell entire body is covered with a hard shell dorsal as well as ventral surface and the dorsal plate very hard dorsal plate found in them is called as the carapace if you have seen the carapace in the case of the tortoise right in tortoise you can see the clear cut carapace so dorsal plate is called as the carapace and the ventral plate and the ventral plate is called as the plastron and the ventral plate is called as plastron jaws jaws in jaws horny beak like jaws are horny beak like jaws are horny beak like but remember this thing that teeth are absent teeth are not there all right if you see the tortoise then the jaws are horny beak like but teeth are absent though the teeth are not present but then also because of the horny beak they can crush the food all right scales found on neck limbs and the tail uh, if we see the scales, then scales are found on the neck region, on the limbs and on the tail region. Alright. And very peculiar feature is that, that all these three organs, whether it is the neck or the limbs or the tail, can be withdrawn under the carapace. Can be withdrawn under the carapace. Means at the time of the danger, they can withdraw all the things and the on the upper surface only you will be able to see the carapace. Now in them, the peculiar feature is that, that cloacal aperture is vertical right cloacal aperture cloacal aperture here is vertical and it helps in respiration 
and when the cloacal aperture helps in respiration then it is called as a cloacal respiration and generally we have seen that uh, in the advanced reptiles uh, the copulatory organ is called as the hemipenis all right but here single copulatory organ is found here single copulatory organ is found in the advanced member you will see that the copulatory organ is paired which is called as the hemipenis but here the copulatory organ is not paired here the copulatory organ is single here in the case of the order chelonia the copulatory organ is single all right and if i talk about the examples important examples of the order chelonia then the three important examples are one is very important you all know testudo which is called as the land tortoise trionyx trionyx is called as the fresh water terrapins they are also called as fresh water terrapins which are edible they can be eaten and kilon is also called as the marine turtle kilon is called as the marine turtle so this is all about the subclass arepsida and its order known as the kilonia now coming to the orders of the diapsida as i have said you that diapsidas are having three orders the rhynchocephalia order squamata and order crocodilia now let's have a discussion rhynchocephalia now the characteristic feature is that most of the species of this order have been found extinct they have been found in the form of fossils they are no more only only a special species which we will be discussing here it is found otherwise all the members have become extinct means maximum species of this order have become extinct only few are present right say for only sphenodon punctatum only sphenodon punctatum species is live only sphenodon punctatum species is live which is particularly found only and only in new zealand right and uh, that's why it is called as the living fossil sphenodon punctatum in new zealand local language it is called as the tua tara in new zealand local language it is called as the tua tara and it is also called as the living fossil the feature of this order rhynchocephalia is that they have a functional third eye which is also called as a pineal eye found in the head region they have a functional third eye or pineal eye found in the head region okay and uh, the teeth are acrodont acrodont means they are not embedded in the jaw sockets they are little bit superficially arranged say for if in the case of the human being we say it as that our teeth are thicodont they are embedded in the jaw sockets but they are not embedded in the jaw sockets they are superficial found on the jaw bone all right now coming to the most most important order of the subclass diapsida of the class reptilia is the squamata squamata is the largest order and we'll be dealing in detail uh, about the squamata and in squamata lizards as well as snake all the lizards and the snake found on the earth are included in this uh, order known as the squamata and here the peculiar feature is that that the that the copulatory organ is paired here in the kilonia the copulatory organ was single here the copulatory organ is paired known as the hemipenis and the body is covered by body is covered by epidermal scales body is covered by epidermal scale and teeth are pleurodont pleurodont means teeth are found laterally on the jaw bone again i am repeating teeth are found laterally on jaw bone teeth teeth found laterally laterally on jaw bone teeth are laterally found on jaw bone teeth are laterally found on jaw bone now we'll be discussing first the lizard and then we'll be discussing the snakes along with the examples now lizards we must know that the study of the lizard is called as the sorology and they are the important members of the phylum reptilia if i talk about the features of the lizards then the limbs and the girdles are very well developed limbs and the girdles both are very well developed and eyelids are movable eyelids are movable their eyelids are movable and in them the nictitating membrane is found nictitating membrane is found all right if we talk about the human beings or many mammals the nictitating membrane is absent or non functional vestigial but here the nictitating membrane is found in the eye auditory opening and tympanum present means eardrum is present that is with the help of the tympanum they can hear and the special character of the heart of the lizard is that they have a foramen 
they have a pore in the heart and that is known as the foramen of Penji. They have a foramen of Penji in the heart and both lungs are of same size. Both lungs are of same size and here the urinary bladder is present. Just concentrate here because the maximum character what you see in the lizard will be opposite in the case of the snakes. Alright. So here the urinary bladder is present. Alright. The common examples, the common examples of the lizards are first is the hemidactylus. You might have seen the hemidactylus. It is a common wall lizard which is actually moving on the lizard, uh, on the walls. So common lizard is called as a wall lizard and the feature of this lizard is that it sheds off its tail. It separates its tail at the time of the emergency. If you hit the lizard then you will see first thing you will see that it will separate its tail and this process is called as autotomy and it is also having the great regeneration power because within few days again the separated tail will be formed uh, in the uh, hemidactylus or the common wall lizard. Calotis. Calotis is a very common one. Blood sucker. It is called as blood sucker. In Indian language it is called as the girgit. Also called as the garden lizard and it is famous for its uh, change in color according to the environment okay draco now draco is called as a flying lizard basically it never flies it glides from one tree to another tree with the help of the skin extensions with the help of the skin extensions remember this thing and that ex skin extensions are called as the patagium chameleon chameleon is very common one and it is called as tree lizard and it is not uh, oviparous it is Viviparous. Generally, the lizards are oviparous, but they are viviparous. Varinus. Now, Varinus is called as the monitor lizard, and Varinus comodensis. There is a species of Varinus known as the Varinus comodensis. It is the largest living lizard. Ophiosaurus. Generally, you have seen that I have written here limbs and girdles are well developed, but here this feature is not applicable because Ophiosaurus is a limbless lizard okay and it is also called as a glass snake Heloderma Heloderma is known as the Gila monster it is the only poisonous lizard found world over means it is in the world only one poisonous lizard is there known as the Heloderma Phrynosoma Phrynosoma is called as horned todd now don't be confused it is not a todd we are studying reptilia we are not studying amphibia all right horn it is called as horn tot but it is a reptilia it is also viviparous here chameleon was also viviparous mollet lizard it is found in the deserts of the australia and the feature of the skin is that it is hygroscopic and ambilirhynchus ambilirhynchus is found on the famous island known as the galapagos island okay so this was the uh, lizard right uh, and its study is called as the zoology. Now coming to the next one and that is the snake. Now coming to the snakes. Snakes are actually belonging to the suborder Ophidia and the lizards were belonging to the suborder Sauria, S-A-U-R-I-A. Alright and of course they are belonging to the order Squamata but uh, suborder is Ophidia. Alright. Now just opposite characters of the lizards you can see here here gird, girdles and limbs are absent girdles and limbs are absent they are called as a limbless snakes are not having limbs while girdles and the limbs were well developed in lizards eyelids immovable there the eyelids were movable nictitating membrane absent in lizard nictitating membrane was present Urinary bladder absent here. Urinary bladder was present in the lizards. Tympanum absent. They cannot hear. While the tympanum was present in the lizards. Left lung is ill developed. In the lizard both the lungs were of equal size. Now examples. Python molarus. Python molarus. Commonly it is called as the Ajgar. It is the largest non-poisonous snake. Approximately the python molurus is seen to be 25 feet long snake but non-poisonous tyres mucosis tyres mucosis it is little bit thick if you have seen in the agriculture fields it is also called as geminis also called as the red snake 
it is uh, feeding on the reds that's why called as the red snake it is friend of the farmer because uh, reds can damage the food grains so they eat the reds in india commonly in traditional language it is also called as the dhaman all right and it is also non poisonous erix johani erix johani it is also non poisonous snake it is called as dumuhi it is called as dumuhi snake but remember this thing there is no snake which is having the two mouths it is not at all dumuhi its tail its tail is just like the its tail is just like the front portion of the body anterior end of the body that side right, seems to be dumuhi but it is not at all dumuhi as the people think of hydrophis it is deadly poisonous snake found in the aquatic environment particularly in the marine environment and it is viviparous snake but deadly poisonous naja naja it is called as the indian cobra very poisonous deadly poisonous naja hana it is called as king cobra and it is also a poisonous snake very very poisonous bangiris called as a crit it is also deadly poisonous vipera it is a viviparous poisonous snake also called as the viper crotalus it is called as the rattle snake why because it produces a rattling sound known as rattle rat rattle rat like this type so it is rattle snake it is also very poisonous it is also very poisonous so we have discussed the second order just now and that is known as the squamata we have discussed the order as uh, order rhynchocephalia then the order squamata in which we have discussed two sub orders one is the soria in which the lizards were included and the sub order ophidia in which the snakes are included fine now coming to the order crocodilia order crocodilia now fresh water animals found fresh water animals they are fresh water animals means they are found in lakes and ponds all right and they may be found on land as well as water i can say that they are having the amphibious nature diaphragm present now these are the only reptiles which have the diaphragm and diaphragm is a mammalian character chick now thicodontid this is also a mammalian character the teeth are embedded in the jaw sockets teeth are embedded in the jaw sockets and hence called the thicodontid they have a four chambered heart just like the mammals uh two auricles two ventricles means two atriums two ventricles so the presence of the diaphragm the thicodont teeth and the four chamber heart are the three characters of the mammals they are the largest modern reptiles and they have massive body massive solid body they have massive solid body and skin is covered by bony scutes you can see the skin of the crocodiles many bony scutes Uh, outgrowths or the bony plates are found snout is long the front portion the front portion of the crocodile is very much long and urinary bladder is absent in them urinary bladder is absent in them and the examples are gavialis which is called as the gharial its snout is too much long its snout is too much long more longer than the crocodile alligator it is called as the mexican crocodile and crocodilus also called as a crocodile it is only found in the indian subcontinent clear so this was the third order of the of the uh, and that is known as the diapsida all right diapsida subclass so this was the entire classification of the class reptilia hope so you have liked this and uh, those who are new to my channel just i am giving a information to them that we are starting our live 12th plus neat batch on 1st october 2020 and it will continue up till your neat exam remember this thing we will be covering the 12th plus neat portion uh, with quality with quality as well as with the content that is the theme line of my channel that we will not compromise with the quality and the content a lots of dpps daily practice problem and the test schedules all right and a uh, lots of the free material will be available so download our uh, app named as the super guru and you can see the demo video also on my youtube channel that how to download and how you can just uh, go through the course what we are starting from the first october so thanks a lot hope you have liked this video